What's up traders? So let's do a complete multi time frame analysis of Aussie dollar and Euro dollar. Let's see what kind of trading opportunity currently both of these instruments have as both of these instruments showing a significant trading opportunity. Now before we discuss what it is, let's do a complete multi time frame analysis. Then we'll jump onto this time frame to see how we can trade both of these instruments. Starting with Aussie dollar as there will be news announcement tomorrow Aussie dollar is going to be a little bit of volatile so first of all let's begin with the higher time frame on the monthly perspective why because monthly weekly or higher time frame will give you a clear direction in the market removing all the noise from the lower time frame now Aussie dollar if you look at the bigger picture this is a long term bearish market as you can see on the monthly perspective the price was creating a series of lower high and whenever the bulls try to push the price high there is a long red bearish angle for is formed every time you see that this is a very very strong rejection from the top the past month we have seen the same thing there was a strong rejection from this zone on aussie dollar now after this monthly rejection what we can expect a move down again at least at certain level at least to this monthly level of support so with that in mind aussie dollar is still there is a possibility to drop on the higher time frame perspective if you look at the weekly time frame this is the weekly candle that has closed it has a significance if you look at the top of the weekly candle and bottom both side has weeks there is a narrow body in the middle means that this is a middleman and this middleman formed in this head and shoulder on the weekly time frame you can see there is a nice looking head and shoulder has been formed in Aussie dollar now after this head and shoulder on the weekly as soon as the this week open we have seen a weakless candle has been formed in this zone so with that weakless candle we can expect Aussie dollar to continue to drop as this is a long-term bearish market high probability that the price will drop now daily perspective we have seen this is the last day of trading week we have seen this candle has formed this narrow long week candle so what we have seen on the daily there is a clearly visible head and shoulder on the daily time frame and with that daily candle the price tested this neckline of this support here on the daily support here support here tested as a resistance and we have seen a rejection from this resistance so with that in mind as soon as today market open we have seen Aussie dollar started to drop and what we can expect now this price to continue to drop at least certain level of this support that we are expecting on the lower time frame now if you look at the four hour or intraday time frame we see that Aussie dollar has a back to back to liquidity gap during the NFP release we have seen there is a strong bearish engulfer followed by this dodgy and there has been today there is another rejection to the downside without any week at the top now, as soon as this one close as a bearish engulfer we have seen a dodgy now this current candle as well showing a strong bearish candle now if you look at this four hour time frame this zone we have seen another head and shoulder has been created below this 20 period moving average that means that aussie dollar basically is preparing for another drop to the downside that is aligning with our higher time frame prediction so then how we can trade aussie dollar as market always sometimes does very different so what we need to do is we need to wait for this head and shoulder to be broken as you can see there is a nice looking head and shoulder in this zone and we need to see this head and shoulder has broken clearly as any point we could see an a spike to the upside if that's the case then we need to wait for a potential shorting opportunity on the other hand if we see a clear breakout from this head and shoulder with a long red candle we can expect to test this neckline this support of this head and shoulder as a resistance and at that point we can consider shorting Aussie dollar from this zone with a high risk to reward ratio with our students now let's look at euro dollar how it is doing the euro dollar as you can see this is the the four hour time frame and we'll look at again with the higher time frame perspective euro dollar on the monthly time frame this is also a very very strongly bearish market on the monthly we have seen that on euro dollar there has been a middleman has been formed on the monthly as i mentioned in quite a few analysis and this middleman has been rejected from this previous support zone here acted as a resistance and we have seen 
a very strong rejection on the monthly and with that in mind we could see a couple of candles to continue to drop on euro dollar now weekly perspective we have seen there is a long gap opening on euro dollar as you can see after this previous week's dodgy the price completely disconnected from this structure created open a gap and we have seen the price now just in between this gap opening so if you look at the daily to see what might happen as the price is below this level there is the high probability that this price needs to test this previous support zone that has opened with a gap that gap needs to be tested properly before dropping so with that in mind let's look at intraday or four hour time frame this is where we see that euro dollar has completely been separated from this previous support zone here can see on the four hour there is a support here support here support here so it's a very very clearly defined support on the intraday time frame and we see as soon as the market open with a big, big gap and we haven't seen yet proper retest of this previous support zone here in this zone we couldn't see still clear test but what we could see potentially that the price is testing this previous support as resistance and we need a rejection for a potential shorting on euro dollar so what we will be doing with our students is we will be waiting for a potential retest of this previous support zone here as a resistance once we will see significant rejection we will consider shorting euro dollar from this zone with a high risk to reward ratio with our students now if you find value in this analysis then smash the like button and also don't forget to drop a comment below to help this idea Thank you for watching. See you soon in my next analysis.